Moroni Prime here yet again with another toy review. In case you didn't know, this is the Green Ranger. Probably one of the most famous, if not the most famous, Power Ranger in the franchise's 17 year history. This was originally an evil ranger in the middle of season one. This ranger was uh, played by Tommy Oliver. Uh, the actor was uh, Jason David Frank, who, uh, who played that role. Uh, throughout the Evil Green Ranger saga, he single-handedly succeeded in disabling the Power Rangers, breaking into the command center, uh, almost killing Zordon, disabling Alpha. And he just he was just one evil dude, but it turns out he was just controlled by the Sword of Darkness. Once that was destroyed, he you know he he later uh, realized the error of his ways and switched sides and teamed up with the original five Power Rangers. Um, this figure is a rather heavy remold of the standard male rangers. Uh, the boots and gloves are noticeably different. They don't have the diamonds so much as they have triangles now. Uh, these are actually molded on, not just painted on like the others are. Uh, you can actually run your finger across and actually feel the triangles on the boots and gloves. Uh, also different is the torso and that the dragon shield is actually molded onto the figure uh, as with the original toys you could you know take it off and put it on other rangers if you so chose that is not the case it is part of the torso here uh, again same butt print 12909 as we've seen before we've discussed it we don't know what it means um, probably never will the Green Ranger here uh, is probably going to be about as good as we'll get with the Ranger figures unless they give us the White Ranger uh, later on. It's it's real hard to say at this point what they'll do for sure. Um, also of note, the buckle, the Morpher, is in gold as with the uh, other details. Uh, also, the upper arms are something else. They have the armbands on them. Those are also molded on, not just painted on. Uh, he has the red jewel in the uh, crest of the helmet, as well as the uh, standard teeth around the visor. Uh, overall, not bad. Same articulation with the exception of the lateral arm movement, uh, with the shield being a permanent uh, fixture on the figure. It does limit the arm mobility, but you still have the uh, same joint, and if you're careful, you can actually turn the arm completely upside down, uh, so you still have that. The elbow bends, uh, as does the glove, it does its thing with the 360 degree rotation. Uh, the leg movement is not compromised in any way, it's the same as we've seen before. Uh, the boot still spins around. Still have the same port in the back because, like the others, he comes with one of these stupid things. Don't know why, don't care why, it's going on the shelf with the rest of them. Uh, he only comes with one accessory, and that is the Dragon Dagger, also called the Dragon Flute or Dragon Trumpet, uh, but commonly known as just the Dragon Dagger. Um, if you'll notice, they, they kept really, really close to the uh, Dragon Dagger, how it was in the show. You notice on the hilt, you have the piece up here that is actually angled. I don't know how well you can see it. That's the mouthpiece for the flute. You have your keys here uh, for the different notes. And you even have the uh, dragon insignia there, the little claw shape. Um... On the back, you... Okay, I guess you have it on both sides. I thought that was the dragon on the other side. My mistake. Uh, as well as also the details on the blade itself. 
uh, you got the three nubs on the one side. The back, however, you have just the one nub that would have been used for the thumb, uh, similar to how you have a recorder. Uh, those of you who know what a recorder is and how to play one, uh, that'd be the closest thing I could compare it to, with the exception of the fact that it has keys like a trumpet. Uh, what you heard me play in the beginning of the video was actually from uh, Zayu Ranger, uh, the original incarnation of that theme, uh, as was later adopted and altered slightly for the American release of Power Rangers. Um, there's more to the song, but I stopped it because you didn't want to hear construction vehicles and the dragons were coming out of the water, but you get the general idea that there was more to that song. He uh, can hold it in either hand. He can only hold it the one direction, though, because the keys actually would get in the way of him holding it in his hand if you were to turn around backwards. So you can't really rotate it, you know, too well. Um, also, in the side of the hip, there is no hole for a blade blaster. As far as I remember, he did not have one. So that inadvertently gives a home now for the Blade Blaster with uh, Thunderslinger, if you so choose. Uh, yeah. That way we can not give it to the putty. All we need to do now is figure out what to do with the Power Blaster, and then we're pretty well set. I'll probably end up giving a big gun like that to Alpha 5, I'm sure. Uh, I'll probably pick him up next week. Uh, overall, I would say a 5 out of 10. Would have been a 6 or 7 like the other Rangers with the exception of the shield taking away from the figure in that it's molded on so you're not able to swap it out like like was seen in the episode where he gave it to, to Jason when they uh, gained Titanus and the Thunderslingers. Uh, also it limits the arm uh, posability and articulation there. Uh, you have no over the head arm movement at all whatsoever so that, that I thought was rather limiting for the figure. Uh, overall, nice design, good colors. Uh, highly recommend it. If only they had just made the, the shield able to detach, that, that I think would have helped matters. But again, with the smaller scale, you know, they I'm sure they had to make several changes so that we wouldn't uh, lose or break different things. Um, that's pretty much it to this figure. Not really anything super exciting. Um, until next time, this has been Moroni Prime, wasting your time.